Matt Rendell, Super Nurse, right, 60 seconds on white naped mangabees. Okay, so mangabees are a, media, a medium sized primate from West Africa. They are uh, considered endangered. Um, they're, they have pouches in their mouths, and in captivity, they often stash things in their pouches. Uh, so it's, it's not unusual to anesthetize them and find coins in their pouches uh, because they put them there and they like them to feel against their teeth. Um, they're very, very smart. They're very easy to train. They can be box trained and be trained to be hand injected. And they, they live in very big groups. So And there's loads of evidence that in wild groups, they have granny and step granny and lots of people that help rear the babies. So mum herself doesn't do a huge amount of the rearing. Uh, the others look after them as well. Um, they and yeah, that hopefully we can anesthetize a few and get them to a stage that they can go back in the wild. They're incredibly charismatic, um, and yeah, they're they're a little bit of an underdog because people don't know what they are. So, wow, I'm amazed. I, that was completely off the cuff. That was sixty seconds. So, yeah, That's, I, thank I, you. My, that. Favorite, that was brilliant. my That's favorite brilliant. Mangabe story is working in the zoo when there was a um, a couple from um, London turned up and we're looking at the mangabees. And one of the joys of working in a zoo is listening to parents lying to their children um, because they don't understand what the animals are. And I can remember a couple walking, to their, walking along with their child and trying to explain to them what a mangabee was. And they said to their child, I don't know what sort of bee it is, but it's not your ordinary bee, it's a mangabee. <laughs> <laughs> and then going on to say that the mesh was quite big, so it must be quite a big bee, because obviously it wouldn't be able to get through the mesh. So <laughs> I think I think adults lying to their children is just gold. And I think manga bees have that thing that they're nobody really knows what they are. And I think as conservation, from a conservation point of view, if we can predict those things and get ahead of the curve, then yeah, then happy, happy days. So.